Hello, beautiful being. I'm trying again today. Uh, there was no chat box in the original post, so I'm um, trying something new this week just to have fun, see what happens, is an interactive week. If you have any questions or requests or something that you'd really like to see answered or maybe you've got an achy shoulder or have a question about breathing, please feel free to post it in the chat and I will respond to you. So I'm guessing that maybe in these short sessions there'll be a chance to address one, maybe two, possibly on a good day three um, of your questions. And if I don't hear from anybody, I'll just go ahead and do a session. So that's the deal for right now. And since I seem to be on my own at the moment, I'll just start with some tapping and some cupping because that's a fantastic uh, practice for virtually everything. And then that gives some of you a chance if you want to loosen up some thoughts about a request, feel free to jump right in. So let's find a place to stand where we feel nice and comfortable. And place your feet. Ah, people are coming. All right. So Basha, uh, this is interactive today. If you have a question or if there's something that you'd really like me to address uh, today or this week, feel free to drop it in the chat and uh, welcome everyone else who's watching. So we're going to start with some shaking and tapping and cupping because it's a fantastic practice no matter what else is going on. So please bring yourself to a lovely, long, gentle lift as though something is pulling you up with such love to create length in your spine without strain, letting the shoulders relax and letting the knees soften enough that you can really feel into your feet, connecting into the ground and maybe wiggle your toes a little bit and just get that sense of really feeling how you and your feet and the earth are really one. And that already gives us a lot of stability. So with that stability and that lovely elongation, we're just going to begin a little bit of shaking. <sighs> and let your breath respond. If you feel like blowing off some steam or making any kind of sound, let that happen. The movement will generally get your breath going, so I'm not talking too much about the breath right now, other than let it be free, let it be free. Now you can build up this shaking as much as you like so that you have every part of your body involved in some way. Ankles, feet, knees, hips, spine, waist, armpits, elbows, fingers, hands, even some sweet freedom in your neck so that your head can move around. And all of it, we're listening to our own feedback to see, is this pleasant? Is this comfortable? Is this bringing value and joy and movement? We're not overdoing. We're making ourselves as present as possible. So not only are these exercises or tasks or creative challenges, they're also opportunities to zero in on our, our attention, our mindfulness, so that we're noticing what is happening in us. <sighs> and allow this to gently come down to its own natural completion see how you feel. Notice if there's any shift or something interesting going on. For example, I feel some tingling. That's the first thing that presents itself to me. So I'm just going to enjoy that without analyzing it. Ah, and I notice my breath is freed up a little bit. So that's not to say you're going to feel the same thing, but just to give you an idea of some of the things that might emerge. And now with the knees soft and a little suspension through the crown of the head, some easy rotations, arms just swinging, head can stay looking forward, head can go with the movement, and back heel can come off the floor so you've got a nice pivot. 
And remember to keep your feeling of being suspended. So there's always space between your bones, space in your joints. Ah, let this come to its own natural completion. And because the print is very small, I'm just gonna see if anybody's asking yet. Okay, no problem. Monday, first day, I imagine people shy. That's okay. So experiment and having fun. Let's move into some tapping. Tapping is a beautiful way to bring circulation to the body and connect, make connections between our internal witness and each part of ourselves because we're often forgetting parts. We get into our heads, we forget about the rest of ourselves. And also if you have any pent up frustrations, concerns, uh, worries, COVID situation, or anything else. This helps to release things and just keep them moving so they don't get stuck and stagnant. So let's begin by a little bit of loving tapping all over the breastbone and the chest. And this is to be done with love, with love, self-appreciation, self-respect. And I like to marvel at the wonder of who we are, our bodies, our minds, our connective tissue, our spirits, the whole thing. All of this is one package, not separated. And then cupping, the hand is rounded and just lovingly cupping back and forth. Loving the lungs, smiling into your lungs and letting them smile at you. And then circling around the breast tissue, letting it dance and move. And then lovingly coming into the armpit and always looking for your own comfort. So maybe your arm doesn't want to go up like that. Maybe you want to keep it lower, but you can always find a way to connect with each part of you. And we're coming down the back of the arm. Today I'm even using the back of my hand. I mean, maybe that's the first time I've ever done it, but that's usually I use my palm, but this feels really good. So remember, there's no wrong way. If you're connected, if you're sincere, if your intention is to connect the dots of consciousness in your body, all of it is gonna work out and your intuition may jump in with some added pieces. And into the inner wrist, clapping the hands with a bright sound, tapping the fingertips, and then the fingernails and the backs of each finger and the thumb. And then cupping your way up the hand. And if you have hard working hands or maybe a bit of a feeling of arthritis or any kind of stiffness, just give some loving extra cupping with extra doses of love in your eyes. Coming up the outsides of your forearm up the upper arm, over the shoulder, and maybe even a loving pat on the back. All the while smiling, letting your breath flow. Ah, and we'll just swing out those arms and take a moment to see how in particular that arm and that whole side of your upper body feels. And once you've got a sense of that, how does the other side feel? Are there any differences? And let's zip up our energy once again. And with love and appreciation, tapping, cupping. And then back and forth over the lungs, smiling into them, letting them smile back. Around the chest and the breast tissue. Letting this area bounce and dance. Coming into the armpit with your arm in any position that's comfortable for you because you can get access in so many different placements. It's more about your intention. Where your intention rests is where the energy goes. So if we're thinking, oh, my shoulders hurt, I can only lift my arm so much, it's not gonna be as good, that's the intention you're actually tapping in. But if you have Conversely, if you have very little range of motion available to you, if you're following the law of do what's comfortable, 
You can still have your arm really low and you can still believe, ah, oh, this is so beneficial. And you can get in there and figure out some way to make contact and it's perfect. It's perfect. So we have many, many options, but the rule of listen to your comfort, move away from pain, and keep your intention clear, that's where the work happens. That's where the alchemy happens. Still no requests, but that's okay. Tapping and cupping is awesome. Clapping the hands, tapping the tips of the fingers, backs of the fingers, coming up the hand, up the arm, extra time if you have hard working hands or there's stiffness, just give them so much love. Breathing, smiling, accumulating goodwill in your whole body and in your mental body, your physical body, emotional body. Ah, neck and shoulders, and let that go. Wiggle that around. Maybe circle your shoulders a little bit. Ah, see how that feels. And wiggle it out, shake it out a little bit. And with the shoulders really relaxed, just bend your elbows and bring your hands up and we're going to tap the chest. And we can use some sound here if you like, just to clear the lungs even more. Um. And after a sound, what does the next inhalation feel like? And then let's tap up and down the throat with love into the jawline, up and down the sides of the neck, into the ears, maybe in front and behind and not so much over the ears in case that's deafening. Up and down the back of the neck, into the base of the skull, up into the base of the skull, and let's come up and over the scalp and everywhere, tapping all over, breathing, waking up our brain cells, shaking up and stirring up the cobwebs. Let's shake out our hands and let's brush those cobwebs out of our brain. Let's get rid of brain fog. Let it go, let it go, shake it out, shake it out. And now today at the temples, lightly, or maybe you're just going to rub, and coming around the eyes, you can put your glasses on top of your head, tapping around the eye socket so gently. Breathing. And then coming down the sides of the nose, beside the nostrils, and then fluffing up under the cheeks. Smiling here is nice. Practicing with that soft inner smile. Mm. And then at the jaw muscles, you can yawn a bit here and slide your jaw around. And then tapping under the mouth, above the mouth. And then just a little bit of fluffing, smoothing out, lifting up. And then shake that out, shake that out. If there's anybody who's tuning in uh, since the beginning, this week is interactive. You can uh, write a request in the chat box if there's something you want to uh, me to address and uh, support you with or just to have some fun. Otherwise, I'm going to continue tapping and you're welcome to think of things for the rest of the week. So here, let's come into the abdomen. Oh, you can make sound. Soften your abdomen so you're not pulling in your waistline or anything like that. And even paddling upwards is very nice. We want to get some stimulation, not only into the skin, but into the organs. And then I learned a really lovely one from some of the grannies down by the uh, art gallery in Toronto where I live. They come out in the warm weather and they do qigong together. So lightly cupping the low belly as though you're holding under your low belly, 
bending the knees, and then bouncing your belly up and down. They were laughing at me because they said, the bigger the belly, the easier it is. So if any of you are concerned about your bellies, there are places where having a belly is the bomb and it's fantastic. So just jump your belly up and down in some comfortable way. Go gently if there's any, you know, if you're not sure. But you see, I'm just lifting and lowering, just bouncing my belly and staying jiggly and soft. Oh, that's making me burp. That means things are moving. And then you can do this very gently. Again, don't jar your body. <sighs> Shake out your hands, see how that feels. And let's cup in the back of the sacrum and the back of the waistline. And if you can cup up into the rib cage, you can do that too. And make any sound you like to stimulate your kidneys. And then rub, rub up and down, rub up and down. And we're going to make our way down our legs and only reach over with your back as far as is comfortable. The rest you can do cupping in the air and imagining tapping lower down. You might not see my legs for this, but just do it on your own and listen to the instructions. So we're going to cup now through the bum and coming down the back and the outsides of the legs. You can also do doubles, so it's rhythmic in a different way. This is a bit syncopated when you alternate. Whatever you like, whatever feels good to you. And coming down the backs of the legs with sensitivity, with appreciation, backs of the knees, letting the head lower, and coming down the backs and the outsides of your calves. Imagining or cupping all the way down to your ankles, behind the ankles, around the outside of the ankles, sides of the feet, tops of the feet, tops of the feet, inner borders, and then coming up the insides of the legs, inner thighs, perineum, a little bit of light tapping, get wide through the perineum, and then coming up into the groin area, the pubic area. Find your stance once again, connecting to the ground below, the sky above, and then let yourself rest with your hands over your belly. Notice your sensations. Notice your breath. And allow yourself to start to settle. You're still connected through your feet to the earth, through the crown of your head to the sky. And let your breath flow with the hands on your belly, imagine that this is where you want to send your breath. So when you exhale, this is the area that gently softens and draws in, not pulling in, but just naturally, naturally relaxes back a bit. And when you inhale, imagine you're taking the breath all the way into your belly so it gets a little bit bigger and when you exhale, you don't have to pull it in. Just feel into the subtlety of the natural breath. I've noticed that a lot of us, and I include myself in this, when we're practicing, we're cultivating our breath, we sometimes go too hard. We want to make a good breath. We want to do well. So we push the breath a little too much. And maybe we push our belly out, and then we suck our belly in. And this can happen in degrees doesn't always have to be gross, it can be subtle. But if you recognize that for yourself, what might it be like to simply feel your hands on your belly and let this movement of the belly be so subtle. So there's nothing forced at all, it's the gentlest version of letting the breath come into your torso and fill you, and the gentlest version of what happens to your abdomen and your whole trunk when you exhale. And let your breath settle down. 
Let your smile glow. Notice how you're feeling. And that will bring us to the end of today's little session, but we'll stay in the settling position a little longer. Remember your support through your legs and your feet. Really open up the sensation. So many nerve endings in the soles of our feet. Open them up so you really know where your ground is underneath you. And at the same time, allow yourself to rise up so gently through the crown of your head, elongating your spine without strain. And that brings us our suspension and our beautiful perpendicular, our vertical alignment. And now notice your breath, and this is how we connect with all of the space around us and within us. So there's an expansion that's possible through the breath. And let yourself settle with these three simple principles. And maybe they're more available to you after we've done a bit of loosening up and stimulating the imagination and the circulation in all of our parts. Ah, and see how you feel. And any lovely shift that you're experiencing this is yours and let it be something that you bring with you through the rest of your day or your evening. And I thank you for your beautiful attention and put it in your mind that this week it's possible to ask questions and uh, have an interactive session. So I'm just trying this as an experiment. We'll see how it goes, but playful and loving and many blessings. Keep breathing, keep smiling, and stay connected to your foundation and your inspiration. And everything goes a lot better when we have those things running underneath. Okay, bye for now, beautiful people. We'll see you next time.